Pantera and Nickelback are two bands that you would have never expected to collaborate back in the day, but as it turns out, they did twice with one scenario, even including Kid Rock. This is how it all came together. Most people are aware that the Nickelback song Side of a Bullet from 2005's All the Right Reasons is about Pantera guitarist Dimebag Daryl and the tragic shooting in Columbus, Ohio at the Al Rosa Villa back in 2004 that tragically took Dime's life when his band Damage Plan was playing at the venue, but the connection between the two bands actually goes back a few years prior. Back in 2002, Nickelback, who were still on the come up at the time and hot on the heels of their smash single How You Remind Me from the fantastic 2001 album Silver Side Up were touring with Allison Chains guitarist Jerry Cantrell opening for them and it was through Cantrell that Nickelback ended up meeting the Abbott brothers Dimebag Daryl and Vinnie Paul. The two bands were fans of each other as it turns out with Nickelback frontman Chad Kruger telling MTV back in 2005 that supposedly Vinnie Paul was listening to Nickelback every single day at the time which I don't know, maybe back then it was a little surprising, but not so much after hearing some of Hell Yeah's later records. Holy radio rock. Anyways, the two camps hit it off pretty quickly, and in 2003, Nickelback were working on a cover of the Elton John classic Saturday Night's All Right for Fighting that also featured Kid Rock, and they were doing it for the Charlie's Angel Full Throttle soundtrack. And then, of course, during a long night of partying, Kruger played the demo of the cover for Dime in hopes that he would play the solo on the song, and upon hearing the demo, Dime was so into it that he happily obliged, and thus, the first collaboration was born. Fast forward to December 8th, 2004, when Damage Plan takes the stage at the Al Rosa Villa in Columbus, Ohio, when just moments into their opening song, 25-year-old Nathan Gale rushes the stage and opens fire, ultimately taking the lives of Dimebag Daryl, Damage Plan security Jeff Mayhem Thompson, audience member Nathan Bray, and venue employee Aaron Halk. Obviously a huge tragedy and an unprecedented moment in music history, with the music world and a number of families suffering a major loss loss and prompting Chad Kruger to write a song about the incident for Nickelback's at the time upcoming album All the Right Reasons as he was of course understandably so very upset about what had happened telling MTV at the time I was very upset and for two months if I saw his picture somewhere I would get angry I hadn't lost somebody to a shooting before it wasn't as though he'd been killed in some sort of accident he was taken in such a horrible malicious way that just made it more painful the song of course would go on to become side of a bullet and once the incident instrumental had been demoed, Kruger then played it for Vinnie Paul, without the lyrics mind you, to get his thoughts on the track, and then Vinnie suggested that Chad write lyrics about Dime, with Chad then telling Vinnie, funny enough, this song is about your brother. Vinnie Paul then offered to play drums on the song, so Kruger then overnighted the tape to Paul so that he could record a new drum track over Nickelback drummer Daniel Adair's original track. According to Kruger, after Paul received the tape, he quote, thought about it for a while, then he decided that Daniel Daniel had done such an amazing job that we should leave it the way it was. Although he ended up declining to perform on the track, he did reach out to Dimebag's girlfriend Rita Haney and with her permission sent over a number of guitar solo outtakes of Dimes from the vulgar display of power and far beyond driven recording sessions recorded between 91 and 93 which were ultimately compiled into the guitar solo that we hear on the song today. Recalling the gesture and what it meant to the band, Nickelback bassist and Chad's brother Mike Kruger had this to say in an interview. They were our brothers, and then when Dime was murdered, we wanted to pay tribute to him. We were able to get some of his unused solos and a few other bits of his playing that we would actually lay into the track. It was a really special thing for us. Side of a Bullet became Nickelback's seventh and final single from All the Right Reasons, peaking at number seven on the Billboard Mainstream Rock charts, with the album topping a number of billboard charts including the billboard top 200 and going on to sell over 11 million units worldwide with 8 million of those here in the u.s all right though i gotta run my fiance is waiting for me in our room for all the right reasons so i gotta go but thanks so much for watching feel free to subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you next time